Hey, this is Mark Henry, author of Dancing with Energy, Healing Magic, and Mysticism, here to talk to you more about the occult and the paranormal. Well, today's topic is going to be on the subject of the Twilight Zone. So the title is, You've Just Entered the Twilight Zone. Some of you are familiar with the show. Um, uh, others, if you are not, I'm talking about the original, then you're missing out. But before I begin, I just wanted to uh, remind you of a couple of things. And one is that um, I uh, just put a few new attunements in my Etsy store, uh, one of which should be of interest to some of y'all, and that would be the Apollo attunement to the Greek god. Uh, so if you are interested in writing of poetry, if you are interested in music, and especially prophecy, divination, all those sorts of things, then check out that attunement. Uh, also, I was just thinking um, about Apollo yesterday, that if, if somebody here was interested in writing songs, if he is the god of poetry and music, he is the um, god of music in uh, Greek uh, mythology, and especially stringed instruments, then that might be something of interest uh, for, the, for you aspiring songwriters. Uh, shortly before that, I released the High John the Conqueror attunement, which is more, I guess, in the genre of a hoodoo. So if you're interested in him or want to know more about him, then check that, att that attunement out. I'll put a link in the description. Well, okay, so back to the Twilight Zone. All right, so Twilight Zone was a program, television program, that ran between 1959 and 1964. It uh, was created and uh, narrated by Rod Serling. He even uh, wrote some of the episodes. So he had a big hand in that. Um, he is the one that you see in the beginning and towards the end. So uh, the Twilight Zone as a program kind of explored um, a lot of different themes. It explored things like um, robots slash AI. It explored... Um, nuclear war, uh, time travel, um, a lot of the things also explored uh, social topics, things that were happening at that time. So if you are a history buff, you can watch this show and you can get a gleaming of what was happening in the late 50s, early 60s, which I think is cool. Uh, also, uh, as the way that it was written, it is written in a very kind of unique way. It is more like parables and allegory. Uh, basically teaching tales. It is, in a way, kind of demonstrating some type of lesson uh, to the audience, which is, is pretty interesting in itself. You don't really have a lot of television trying to teach adults various things, but it does it in a way that is very, something that, it's a way that captures your attention. So, and one of the things about Twilight Zone, especially the original, uh, is that there's usually a twist at the end. And it's a consistent way, a consistent twist. Um, the latter Twilight Zones, when they were trying to, to kind of redo it in like the 80s and some of the other times, um, it was pretty good. But this particular, the original, I think kind of stands alone. Another reason why it stands alone is that it had a lot of of the well-known actors of that time who had to, I mean, who really were good at their craft. Um, if you think about what was happening at that time, and I feel like I'm going off topic, but please indulge me. Uh, what was happening at that time is that television was still very, fairly new. So around the time the Twilight Zone was around, I think um, I read that only about 25% of television uh, of households had televisions at all. So it was still sort of a fairly new thing. So what do you, what is what do you make of that? You know, what happens is that these actors are putting giving it their all because up until that point before television, a lot of acting was taking place on stage. So when that happens, you really have to put forth all of your energy. And that is the reason why at certain points you'll find that um, it maybe feel a little overacted 
But think about this. This is theater people coming into a new way of a new venue for their acting. So, but it comes across as very powerful in my opinion because of that. You really feel it. Okay, so I won't geek out on um, uh, that anymore. <laughs> okay, so how does this relate to this channel? Okay, so in addition to uh, some of the sci-fi stuff I mentioned, it also explores a lot of paranormal and occult topics. So what do I mean? I mean contact with spirits, aliens, magic, all of it. And it represents a fair amount of those themes in the television show. So let's talk about, I guess, some of the episodes that are kind of my personal favorite that demonstrate this, these. And by the way, if I haven't mentioned it yet, I will tell you at the very end where you can watch these for free. And you, I will also, uh, I'm going to mention the episodes so that you can go and look these up and, you know, cherry pick the ones you want to see. So again, it was, it was uh, around for four episodes. So when we talk about spirits, and I guess it's spirit in a loose sense, but I wanted to mention this. And that is that there are uh, certain episodes that will, de that will demonstrate a part of somebody that is externalized and they have to come in contact with it. And these are the episodes that if you like that sort of thing, the incredible world of Horace Ford. Um, and I'll try not to spoil it too much. And I'll just say just a couple brief things. Um, it is a guy. He is a little different. He's fixated on the past. He insists on trying to go back to that. And something happens. He comes face to face with something unexpected. And he gets, in a way, psychologically stuck. Okay. Hope that was vague enough for you all. I certainly don't want to, to ruin it. Uh, now, the next one is probably one of the best episodes I think that they had in the series. It's called Nightmare as a Child. And that is uh, basically about a um, young woman who encounters a little girl. And this little girl is kind of creepy. And she knows things. And the lady doesn't know how she knows these things. And the little girl is basically trying to get her to see something without actually telling her. Was that episode. Another personal favorite, and this has to do with magic. Love magic especially. It's called The Chaser. The Chaser is essentially... Uh, there is a guy who is really stuck on this woman, and it's a situation of unrequited love. And he wants her so badly that a stranger with whom he meets says, you need to see this person. He can help you. So he finds this mysterious person who is in a profession that doesn't appear to be relevant to this. And he says, okay, I have something that will help you. So now we're talking about magic with um, love potions and things. So that was that's about what that episode's about. Um, the next category is spirit contact. And there are quite a few of these. Uh, the best... I would think of this is um, called the long distance phone call. If this is about, and this, if you've, if you've remember Poltergeist, there is a part of that that is uh, Poltergeist 2, I want to say. Uh, there's something in here that will remind you a little of that. Um, it is about a, a young boy who loves his grandma. And um, something happens to her, his grandma, 
and he is um, drawn uh, for something bad to happen uh, to him after she passes. Next one, the passerby. For those of you who are interested in history and war, this is you really like this one. It has to do with a lady who is in, um, I believe it's, she's in the South somewhere, and there are soldiers that are passing by. And she engages conversation and talks a little bit with different ones, and things um, aren't what they seem. And the last one I want to mention is called The Game of Pool. Uh, for those of y'all who are a little older, um, this is the actor who plays this is Jack Klugman, veteran actor, and uh, also Jonathan Winters is in it, the actor and even mo no most notably co comedian, like one of the best of all times. So um, this guy is a, an aspiring pool player, and he wants to be the best. And somehow, some way, he gets challenged. And the stakes are, are, are life and death. Challenge from the spirit world. Okay. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video. If you are not familiar with the Twilight Zone, then please uh, check it out. Uh, it will... Um, it, it, Back then, they had to do, when they were doing horror and mystery and things, they had to do more with less. So that comes across in this uh, particular uh, television series. Okay. Well, please um, subscribe. Like, Oh, I almost forgot. What if you wanted to watch um, The Twilight Zone for free? You can watch it on Amazon Video. You can watch it on Freebie. And you can watch it on Pluto TV. Um, it exists in other places, but then you'd have to pay a few dollars. So, uh, as I was saying, um, if you are interested in the Etsy attunements or if you want to check out the store, I'll put a link in the description. Or if you want to um, join my Patreon, become part of my inner circle, then um, I'll put the links in the description. Please subscribe and like. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of new videos. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Have a good weekend.